John. I'm here with Patrick, the CEO of 3D Gents, and they have a very unique and high quality 3D printer with some unique features that we want to talk about today. So Patrick, thank you for joining us. Um, so I understand your printer has a interchangeable nozzle. Yes, this is one of the features which makes our printer unique in the market. So uh, in order to meet uh, customers, uh, needs to make life e easier, uh, we invented a changeable nozzle, which is like a press of a button. So, so as you I can change diameters. So yeah, you can you can check, change diameters. You can have uh, specific nozzles for specific materials. You can have whole set of, of different nozzles, uh, so you can, you can you can play around with them. And if if there is a, a situation that uh, the filament stuck into the into the into the nozzle, uh, all you need to do is to wait till the uh, it cools down, and then you replace it, and then you're you're ready to print again. That, that sounds great. I understand you also have a ceramic bed, and that seems to offer some uh, improvements. Uh, yes. Can you share that with us? Yes, there are like some key improvements inside. So uh, first of all, is a structure we are getting from from having a ceramic, which is uh, which is really 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 nice, really uh, smooth. Uh, but the main features which uh, users will be interested in. So we don't need to use uh, in order to start printing and then uh, make make the. Um, Make the filament uh, stick. Make the material stick, uh, yeah. Stick to the surface. We don't need any kind of um, uh, chemical. You don't need tape. You don't glue need glue or anything yeah. like that. Wow. So it just it just uh, sticks. And the other the other cool feature is once we finish once we finish the uh, the print, we just wait till the heat bed cools down and we just take it out. Without, so once the damaging. ceramic cools, it just comes off very yeah, like, easily. Like, like exactly from this table, you take it out and that's it. Wow. I've had a hard time removing some prints from uh, some beds in the past. It's amazing. Now, um, it seems a very high quality machine of aluminum. Yes, and, uh, aluminum. Um, oh, and, and you have a unique uh, feature with your filament uh, feeding, right? Yes, so that uh, yes we have, uh, uh, we have uh, sensors, uh, pressure sensors, which are res responsible for various types of um, features in the in the in the printer so I understand that if the filament is having trouble feeding the printer can sense this and can adjust yes can adjust first of all so we can adjust on the flight we can adjust the the amount of filament that is, uh, is given by the extruder and the machine does that automatically yes machine does it automatically That's this great. is the first thing but the sensors also are responsible for the auto calibration uh, oh, auto calibration, that's right. Yes. So that's another unique feature is that you, it, it does this all by itself, right? Yes, it does it all by itself. So we measure, uh, the, the, the sensors are measuring the, the, the heat bed in 500 points. It, we only wow. do it once, once in a lifetime, we say. Uh, and uh, it creates a digital map of, of, the, of the structure because sometimes the, the, the ceramic cannot be, might, be, uh, might be stretching from the, from the heat. So we created uh, the map, we store it in the EPROM, in the memory of the, of the printer, and then we also use it for the auto collaboration on the flight when you, during the print. Wow. So you always have the same, same uh, uh, distance from the, from the uh, nozzle uh, to, the, to the print, actual printout. Well, it seems to be a very high quality printer. Now, this is made in Germany? No, this is no? made in Poland. In Poland? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, I mean, Poland, and uh, we are uh, right now focusing mainly on automotive and aerospace uh, industry. Okay. And uh, we have some good results. Uh, our first printer has been delivered to General Motors, uh, and uh, General Motors is, is working on, on those printers already. Uh, but so you, be... you're distributing them in the U.S. now? So, yeah, this is our first, uh, first uh, um, exposure in the, in the U.S. Uh, right now we are... Uh, we will be establishing an office. We already have an office in San Francisco, in Rocket Space, uh, and ultimately we will be probably bringing also the uh, production to the U.S. Really? Wow. Uh, so, yeah. That's great. That's how it is. Well, it's a very impressive looking printer and, and seems to have some great features. So, uh, good luck to you. I hope it does well. Thank you. Thank you very for much. For spending some time with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.